Lionsgate has picked a lane in the global rush into streaming, premium, in between mass and niche, and it sees a path to reach nearly 60 million global subscribers by 2025. In its fiscal fourth quarter report, the company said it had reached 29.5 million total subscribers, 16.7 million of those streaming. Updating its guidance, the company said during a conference call with analysts that it would be at the high end of a range it had previously provided of 50 million to 60 million subscribers. About 80% of those will be streaming subscribers, the company said. Invoking Michelle Obama's famous low high line at the 2016 Democratic National Convention, CEO John Feltheimer said of media rivals, when they go broad, we go premium. Elaborating along with Stars chief Jeff Hirsch during a conference call with analysts, he said Stars won't be a massive, all things to all people Disney Plus or Netflix, but neither will it be a tiny niche service. The service is expanding globally and boosting its scripted lineup by 70% over the next year, the biggest and broadest slate in the history of the business, Hirsch said. It seems quite reasonable to imagine Stars reaching about 20% of the scale of Disney Plus or Netflix over the next four years, Feltheimer said. We don't think 30 million subs is a niche service. If we wanted to be in niche services, we wouldn't have sold Pantaya, a Spanish-language streaming outlet in which Lionsgate was a stakeholder. We think 30 going to 60, that's a big business. We want to be the market leader in premium, and that's how we'll build our value. Hirsch also noted that Lionsgate is playing more of a retention game than many media companies in streaming. Churn was at an all-time low in the quarter, he said, with expectations for it to drop into single-digit percentages as the slate and distribution expand.